Hello, hello, everyone. It's nice to see you. Let's have some fun. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Storytime with Vicky. It's Monday. Hi, guys. <laughs> but before we begin, we have a, a shout out. Da -da 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 -da. Shout out, guys. <laughs> Tonight we're saying hello to Lorelai and Dominic. Hi guys, welcome to Storytime with Vicky. And Aura's saying hi to my dog. <laughs> it's nice to see you. <laughs> well then guys, I'm wearing pyjamas. That must mean it's bedtime week. And I hope you got your pyjamas on too. <laughs> and we're kicking off our story our first story, should I say, with Mr. Men at Bedtime. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you have your pyjamas on because I do, guys. And I hope you've got your cosy blankets on already and your cuddly companions because I've got my cuddly companions. And this little chappy down here, this one, this, this, oh, 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 this girl down there, there we go, the one that says VT. She's one of my first teddies I had when I was a little baby. Yeah, that's my initials, my first initials before I was married, VT, Vicky Turner. <laughs> so, um, yeah, one of my aunties knitted it for me. Um, one of my, yeah, one of my aunties um, knitted it for me by hand. So that was really kind of her. And I've treasured it ever since. So yeah, <laughs> um, I bet you have, I hope you've all got a favourite one as well, a favourite toy, and I hope you've got them with you now. So let's begin the story, shall we? Let's begin the story. Right, get yourselves comfortable, guys, and we will begin. Okay, this story is written by Roger Hargreaves. <sighs> all right then. There are lots of different ways to go to sleep. Little Miss Giggles likes to giggle herself to sleep. Little Miss Chatterbox likes to talk herself to sleep. And Mr Tickle likes to tickle himself to sleep. Tickle, tickle, tickle! <laughs> Every night it takes Mr Greedy a very long time to go to sleep. After cleaning his teeth, he gets into bed and then reads his book. Suddenly, his tummy begins to rumble. He is peckish. He gets up, goes downstairs, makes himself a sandwich, eats his sandwich, goes back upstairs, brushes his teeth again, gets into bed again and opens his book again. <laughs> Just as he is dropping off to sleep, his tummy rumbles again. Back downstairs, another snack. Back upstairs, teeth cleaned, into bed, book opened. Again. And I am sure you know what happens next. Yep. I think we know. Another rumble. He's hungry again, isn't he? So you see, it takes Mr Greedy a very long time to go to sleep. Finally, after nine o'clock, nine o'clock, and ten o'clock, oh, and eleven o'clock, and a midnight snack, oh, oh my gosh, his tummy is finally satisfied. I hope you don't get up for midnight snacks, guys. I certainly don't. Mr. Greedy has very clean teeth by now because he's brushed them about a thousand times before bed. <laughs> Mr. Lazy, on the other hand, takes a very short time to go to sleep. He's already there because he hasn't got up in the first place. <laughs> Mr. Lazy. Oh my days. What's he like, eh, guys? <laughs> Little Miss Busy never gets to bed. Every time she starts to climb the stairs, she thinks of one last thing to do. But it never, but it, sorry, but it is never the last thing to do. It is only ever the, uh, the very next thing to do. She is very busy all night long. 
Oh my goodness me. I bet that's like your mummies or daddies. <laughs> can be very busy at times, can't they? I can be certainly very busy all the time. Goodness me. And taking and talking of long. Have you seen Mr. Long's bed? Mr. Tall's bed, should I say? And how and how narrow Mr. Skinny's bed is? And how short little Miss Tiny's bed is? But little Miss Dotty sleeps in the strangest of beds. Oh my gosh, where does little Miss Dotty sleep? Oh! <laughs> she sleeps in the flower bed outside! <laughs> What a muddy bed. <laughs> but she looks very happy, doesn't she? As long as she's happy, that's all that, all that matters, isn't it? Eh? Look, the worm's smiling too. <laughs> Mr. Silly uh, has a bath full of jelly before bedtime. What a sticky bath. <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. Jelly on the plate. Jelly on the plate. Wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. Jelly on the plate. <laughs> I like that song. <laughs> Who else likes jelly, guys? <laughs> I love a bit of jelly, me. Of course, Mr. Messy does not have a bath. He does not make his bed either. He does not even clean his teeth. Oh! <gasps> Oh, yuck. Ugh. Goodness me, look at him smiling. Look, he's got a missing tooth because he doesn't clean his teeth. <gasps> oh, dear. <laughs> I, bet the de I bet the dentist wouldn't be very happy about that, would he? Oh, dear. Mr. Perfect has perfectly cleaned his teeth. So clean, you can see them when only turns the light out. <laughs> they glow in the dark. <laughs> Deary me. Oh, who's this character? Mr. Jelly. <laughs> Mr. Jelly does not turn his light out. He, ha he has a night light. Oh, no. He is afraid of the dark. Oh, Mr. Jelly. He's also afraid of bed bugs that bite. Oh dear. And things that go bump in the night. Poor Mr. Jelly. Oh, bless him. Oh. One thing that goes bump in the night is Mr. Bump. Oh dear. Look at all those bandages. Oh, poor Mr. Bump. Falling out of bed. Bump, bump, bump. <laughs> all night long oh poor mr bump oh i bet he doesn't get a moment's peace of all that bumping does he and lots of he bet he's got lots of bruises as well isn't he oh i i do you know what i do get a lot of bruises <laughs> i do bump into a lot of stuff <laughs> mr wrong on the other hand never gets into bed he gets into the wardrobe instead <laughs> It's a funny book, isn't it? <laughs> I bet his bed is really neatly made because he never gets into his bed. <laughs> do you sleep in the wardrobe? <laughs> I bet you don't, do you? <laughs> Me neither. Bit too uncomfortable in there. So, so you see, there are lots of different ways to go to sleep. Some of them I would not suggest you try. But all, always remember one thing. What's that? Don't have a sleepover with Mr. Tickle. It won't be a bedtime. It will be a tickle time. <laughs> oh, that was a good one, wasn't it? I like that story, did you? Now, there are lots of funny ways to go to bed for Mr. Men, isn't there? I'm not sure I like... <laughs> some of those ways <laughs> i'm not sure i like some of those ways they're a bit funny weren't they <laughs> um yeah I wouldn't, I wouldn't consider going to sleep in the wardrobe really <laughs> no <laughs> but i like the idea of sleeping outside but but in a tent i think yeah definitely not in the flower bed i don't think your mum and dad would be very happy about you sleeping in the flower bed <laughs> gosh can you imagine 
you would ruin the flowers and you would ruin you'll get all mighty as well can you imagine oh no oh dearie me guys dearie me well i hope you do have a nice sleep tonight a peaceful sleep guys i really do i remember stay in bed <laughs> And I will see you Wednesday for the next bedtime story. That's a good story, wasn't it? I really enjoyed that. <laughs> good night, good night to you all. Hope you laughed and had a ball. Snuggle down, it's time for sleep. Close your eyes and count some Z's. Good night, good night, come again. See you next time. That's the end. That's the end. Good night, bye. Good night guys, bye. See you Wednesday, bye. <laughs>